Warning, this game contains scenes that may not be suitable for all audiences. This game contains flashing lights, talk of suicide, and murder. If you are easily offended or sensitive to these topics, please refrain from watching this video. Viewer discretion is advised. What is up, all my gamers? It is me, Oxys, and welcome to Let's Play FM. This is a horror game that I found on Steam that looked really good, really intense, and had some pretty good reviews. It's fairly cheap as well for a game that was looks very positive. Uh, now, spooky season's coming up, as in, like, Halloween and horror and stuff, and I figured that this would be a good way to start it off. Um, I'm a huge puss when it comes to horror games. I love horror movies. Horror movies don't scare me, really. Games are a bit of a different story. So, um... Let's get in the game and play FM. Now, before... We play this game. Let's let's give a little insight to the game, or at least the most knowledge that we've got. This is what the game says. <clears throat> a light flickers above you, illuminating the blood seeping onto the bathroom floor from your head. The tile-lined room is empty, devoid of any furniture or accessories. As you get up from the floor, your vision is distorted by TV static. What just happened? Where am I? Who am I? You leave the bathroom and enter at the living room. <laughs> Fucking... I'm on the main menu. I was reading... Mm. Scared the... Already scared the shit out of me. <laughs> you leave the bathroom and enter the living room of a moderately sized home. Everything seems vaguely familiar. As you explore your surroundings, a radio suddenly begins to broadcast news of a recent murder-suicide before distorting. All lights dissipate in the nearby hallway. Someone or something is standing in the darkness, breathing. That's what, that's what we have for this game knowledge. That's pretty bright. Here we go. That banging on the door already scared the hell out of me. Okay. Okay. As I was saying, I'm a huge puss when it comes to horror games, so we're going to see how this goes. Saving. Already. So it's got an autosave feature, that's nice. Uh oh. Okay, I'm already shaking, dude. This game looks really intense. Okay. Well, oh gosh, the mouse seems to be super high. Okay. Well, he wasn't kidding. There is blood on the floor, but nothing here except the light. Not even not even windows. What the hell? Okay. Um Oh. Okay. Uh, it's a bookshelf. Got some fruit. I didn't ask you to close that. Can I turn these off? I cannot turn it off. Wait, weren't we just here? I can't sprint or anything. Can I touch the phone? Yeah, this was like the, this was the loading screen. Uh, okay. I'm getting PT vibes from this. Can I turn the lights off? I don't... I... Turn it back on. I can turn the lights off. The door closed. What you got? Hmm? 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 Okay, there's... 
You gotta scream if there's something behind you. Now, I don't know if there's necessarily, like, jump scares or anything. Left click to interact with certain objects. Flick this, flick this light switch. Can I, like, do it like I did that, like, that, whole, that really cheap video on the internet of the girl, like, flicking the lights on and off as a shadowy figure appears? Shit like that doesn't scare me, actually, because I know it's, like, fake. And I know games are fake, too, but still, it's locked. Don't. Who's behind me? Okay. We are very disturbed this evening to report the apparent murder-suicide of a wife and her two children supposedly by their husband and father. Okay, the text is cut off the a little bit. The 42-year-old man seemingly shot his pregnant spouse once in the stomach before taking his own life. Neither of the children suffered from gunshot wounds, but were severely beaten, both found with fractured skulls and several broken bones. Stay tuned for further details as police are still investigating the area and attempting to find a motive for this horrific event. Okay. So, mom killed herself, or father killed himself? Something, something along the lines of that happened. And children were, that's locked too. Who's behind me? Okay. Ooh. We apologize for the abrupt interruption. They currently have a caller waiting that wishes to speak on this gruesome incident. Don't mind me, just walking. Something... Does the radio need new batteries? Ex fucking excuse me! The light switch is gone! Alright, let's go, bitch! Let's fight! I ain't afraid! Let's go! Oh, okay. First encounter. Who's behind me? Okay, I just got an achievement that says first encounter. Who's behind me? I'm gonna keep saying that every time. That's the only thing that's gonna keep me sane. Let's be real here. Alright, what do we got here? Got some jars. Oh, there's a brain. Some tools, I guess. Um, where the hell am I? This game is also quite dark. Hold right click to zoom in on certain objects. Examine this radio. The crime radio. was first reported by a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior of the home. At certain points in time, you must examine objects in your surroundings that correlate to the story being in uh, the story being told in order to proceed. Once you have regained control after interacting with said objects, a sound cue will play that also relates to the story. This has no correlation to the next solution in the room. He said he was shot, though. These are all, like, surgery tools. Can I open this? The crime was first reported by a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior of the home. From the interior of the home. Uh... Okay, this is... is it's very dark. I mean, I don't... I don't see any gunshots or anything. Can't go in there. There's there's blood there. Like, is there a gun on this table or something? Am I... The crime was first reported by a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior of the home. Interior of the home. Oh, a dog. Ooh. Oh, okay. Why there? Shut up! After calling the police, she then went to investigate the commotion and discovered the bodies after receiving no answer at the door. I simply cannot imagine the weight she must feel after discovering such a horrific event so close to her home. Okay. So, um... I'm trying to listen to the radio. 
She went to investigate. Let's go investigate the knocking on the door. Oh, it's locked. Okay, never mind. Um, say that again? What did you, what did you, what did you say? After calling the police, she then went to investigate the commotion and discovered the bodies after receiving no answer at the door. I simply cannot imagine the weight she must feel after discovering such a horrific event so close to her home. She called the police and went to dis to, to figure something out. No one's answering the door. Open the door! Is there, um... I hear something. I think that might just be rain, but... Uh, I don't... I don't see no cell phone around anywhere. After calling the police, she then went to investigate the commotion and discovered the bodies after receiving no answer at the door. I simply cannot imagine the weight she must feel after discovering such a horrific event so close to her home. Okay. There's blood here. Does it really want me to look at the painting again? The picture? Light? Saw? Radio? I mean, there isn't really... There isn't really much to look at here. It says, oh, it says the kids were shot in the head. Does it mean I have after to look at the, the brains? Police, she then went to investigate the commotion and discovered the bodies after receiving no answer at the door. I simply cannot imagine the weight she must feel after discovering such a horrific event so close to her home. Huh. I'm not sure where to go right now. I'm looking at the brains. Huh, I'm a little confused here. Oh wait, there are burst brains up here. Do I have to look at this one? After calling the police, she then went to investigate the commotion and discovered the bodies after receiving no answer at the door. Uh -huh. I simply cannot imagine the weight she must feel after discovering such a horrific event so close to her home. Yeah, I I know. I've been um Corpse one, nine AM brain two Heart, 3 p.m. Wounds, former cadaveric state. Drawn body fluids, 1. Is there, a, is there a clock around here? Oh. I have to look at this thing? Jeez, okay, I just put the fucking brain there? <clears throat> don't you don't, uh. she described the scene in gross detail stating that the family bathroom had so much blood on its walls and floor that the drain had been clogged the drain I swear if you bust out of that fucking door I'm gonna be blood drain drain blood drain oh there we go Am I in- I'm not in the same house. Ugh. Oh, there's the blood. Oh. Okay, look, you're getting kind of annoying just banging on the door. How about you come in? President in the bathroom was the family's 11-year-old daughter, who was the third and final victim to be identified as dead at the scene. Third victim? I- I mean... Uh, what does that mean exactly? One, two, three. This one. There's more than three brains, though. There's four. Or at least I think so. Also, why did I... One of the bodies present in the bathroom was the family's 11-year-old daughter, who was the third oh, bathroom. victim to be identified as dead at the scene. Oh, it's still locked. Also, it looks like an empty bathroom. 
Um, okay. Let's see. What do I have to do this time? Can I open the door now? No. Alright. One of the bodies present in the bathroom was the family's 11-year-old daughter, who was the third and final victim to be identified as dead at the scene. Oh, it was? I did have to look at this. Why wasn't it? Okay. Third, because there's three of them, I guess. I don't know. Uh, oh, it's a TV. I thought it was like a morgue or something that was going to, like, pull a body out. Oh, fire. Don't you... What the shit? Don't turn back around! Who the fuck's behind me? Uh, uh, th th there was a thing there. I'm not... Um... Not too happy about that. Okay, let's just slowly walk into this door. Why'd you turn me around? I. You know, shit like that. Where you expect a jump scare. <laughs> and this game is insane for not doing it, because most games would. Game gives me anxiety. Oh, I'm playing. Okay. There's more blood this time. Alright. Oh, back in the living room. Alrighty. Cool. Can I click the kind of mess with the phone or the TV? Turn it on TV on. I want to watch some animes. Alright. Um. We've got many more callers and details yet to come on this thrilling story. I'm going to go grab that. Oh, it's not that door. So, are uh, we just going to... Ignored the woman that was kind of like in the hallway. Cause I don't I don't take too kindly to that. And the light the, the light switch is back. Is it coming through the wall? Oh don't you Fucking dare. <laughs> oh no. She's that unlocking noise. Oh what? Oh the the kid. Oh gosh. Okay. So it's a lot like PT. Just repeating. Oh, that's different. It's open. The father was said to be a heavy drinker by friends and family. And really? And caused commotion late at night once returning home. He worked as a construction foreman and would frequently visit the local bar with coworkers once their shifts were over. Can I pick it up? All he drank was wine, and the same thing of wine. It's kind of, it's kind of lame, dude. You gotta drink more stuff. So I guess I finally figured out what this is like. It's like PT. Uh, come on, dude. So there's alcohol, and the chair's upside down. And the the couch. Okay, this room's different. Except there's just more alcohol. The phone's different. C could you could you not right now? 
I kind of wish I could like pick things up and like throw it. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, all the paintings are whited out too. There's all, jeez, okay. Uh, there's a gun there. What am I gonna hear this time? What's gonna be on the radio? He kept his signature hunting rifle in a locked cabinet at the end of the hallway, the same place that he stored his alcohol. No one was allowed near the cabinet and would be severely punished if found tampering with it. Severely punished. So he had a rifle next to his... Oh, there's blood there. So he had a rifle next to his alcohol. Drunk father. Okay. I mean... Why? Why? You didn't- you don't have a reason to turn on, why- What the f- what? Why'd you turn on? Give me a reason. EXPLAIN! Ah, it probably must be that ghost that's been living in my attic for like three years. <sighs> okay, the paintings are back to normal, that's great. You know, I mean... That's just really helpful, you know. Thanks for painting them back. You know, I kind of they were a lot of money. The only safe place to be once the father started drinking was anywhere hidden in the dark. The children mm. told their grandparents about entire nights spent in the closet or under their beds, attempting to avoid any harm. Could you please turn the lights back on? Thank you very much. All right, let's go. I swear if I see some lady, I'm gonna deck her in the fucking face. I swear, if this room's dark too, it's dark. And there's blood. I, you know what? Now that I think about it, this isn't blood. It's just, it's just wine. Could you... Could you not? Yeah, I mean... Like, just, you know... I, I understand drunk dads, you know... Spilling their wine everywhere. It's totally normal, and the lights are still fucking off. This game is really dark, so... Even, trust me, I can't... I can see just as much as you guys can. I swear, if something's gonna pop up, I'm gonna be fucking angry. The radio's not here. I need... The grandparents said they were fearful of the wife and children's futures after so many episodes of domestic abuse. They described one incident in particular in which the mother suffered from a traumatic head injury that sent her to the hospital. Really? Sent her to the hospital? Why is the radio in a different position too? I swear, if I have to turn back after this door is locked... Better not be... It's not. Oh. Okay. I mean, like, it's fine. Excuse me? Oh. Um. Is that... Is that necessary? I mean... You, you, you made the room a bit brighter. I mean, you lag, you're lagging the game out to all the hell, but, you know. Oh, the dresser's gone. It's like one of my favorite parts of the game, man. The father vowed never to drink again after the mother's hospitalization, but was reportedly seen at his regular bar only days later. Hold, hold up. You're telling me that after walking through that door, the radio appeared behind me, and so did the dresser. You know what? This game does a good job at. This game does a good job at psychological horror, I'll tell you that much. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll answer the phone. Just wasting my phone bill, man. You're making it expensive. Okay, there are more paintings. What do you want?
Oh. What the fuck? Is she? Don't. No. The door won't hold for long. Shh. Sh shut up. Don't. You're, 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 mm, uh uh. No, 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 no. Get the, stay the fuck away from me. Okay. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Three quickly rushed out of the building. Lunch. Okay, I feel a little better now. I'm out of school, you know. I, uh... You know, that's, yeah, school feels safe, even though it's probably one of the most depressing things on the planet. It's fine. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong. I'm genuinely, at the same time, I'm genuinely curious to go back. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Okay, at around noon, so I'm guessing I, like, look at the clock or something. There we go. I don't like that noise. I really don't like that. Art. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office at the time described um, him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. I can't... I can't move it. I can't move it all. What? Oh, I had to click it. Noon. Well, I, I changed it to noon. Do I have to do it to all the clocks? Maybe. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Okay. You know, I can't sprint, and I really don't like that. But at the same time, I don't think I'd... I don't know why I would need a reason to sprint. Uh, there's another clock in here, isn't there? Yeah, right here. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. That's... That's not how a clock... Oh, school's done! When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. The teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible, interrupting a small school of typically only nine students per classroom. Slowest pace possible? What? Why did you have to say it like that? When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. The teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible, interrupting a small school of typically only nine students per classroom. Huh. Oh. Oh, I actually have to collect them. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so I... Well, I can't click on that.
Okay, but I can collect the books. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, so I thought the books. When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. The teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible. I don't, I don't like the way he says that. Students per classroom. Okay, I still can't grab the lunchbox. Um, pretty sure that's everything. I can't grab anything else. When called to the front office, Did I, uh, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. The teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible. Interrupting the small school of typically only nine students per classroom. Hmm. Uh, did I miss something? Is there like a book here? Is there one in here? No, they're just empty. I keep thinking those have blood on them, but it's just a weird the weird shading with the... Um, with the way the lockers are. When called to the front office, both of the children's moods... Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, here's the last book. Them ...to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible. Interrupting the small school of typically only nine students per classroom. That's all the books, isn't it? Where's the last book? Oh, there's one. There we go. Ding, 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 ding. Assigned to opposite rooms from one another, the children also differed greatly in personality. The daughter strived for greatness, her favorite subject being geography, and has always been at the top of her class. The son, on the other hand, was deservedly punished for his actions, often getting sent to time out for acting up. Often get sent to. Uh, does this have something to do with it? For acting up? There's a chair. Did I just hear something? The talking boy. What does that mean? Assigned to opposite rooms from one another, the children also differed greatly in personality. The daughter strived for greatness, her favorite subject being geography. Was that the way knocked down? been at the top of her class. The uh -huh. son, on the other hand, was deservedly punished for his oh. actions, often getting sent to time out for acting up. Uh, geography, so like the globe, right? Right? Oh, opposite classrooms. Does that mean I have to go to this one over here? Okay. Yes. Do 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 Assigned to opposite Yeah, 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 I know. Geography. Oh. Son, did you write? Hand, did you write blood? On, actions, no matter how far away you get, they will always be with you. All right. Uh, cool. Assign opposite classrooms. Something better not be out here. I'm gonna be pissed. Opposite classrooms. Assigned to opposite rooms from one another, the children also differed greatly in personality. The daughter strived for greatness, her favorite subject being geography, and has always been at the top of her class. 
Hassan, on the other hand, was deservedly punished for his actions, often getting sent to time out for acting up. Often get to s getting sent to time out for acting up. But, like, that's it's really vague. I mean, it's his, he said opposite rooms, and the globe was in here, so does that mean... Does this chair out here have to do with anything? Or is it this one? It, oh, found it. Okay, it was the chair Assigned in the hallway. Sit rooms from one another. The children also differ greatly in personality. The daughters strive for greatness. You're gonna, you're gonna draw more blood. Ah, yeah. Oh, come on. The effects are messed up, bro. No matter how hard you try, you'll just end up like your father. Most days, it seemed like the only safe space for the young man was inside his own locker. If he wasn't getting beaten at home by his father, the children at school would do it instead. I heard you beaten on there, so you're telling me I gotta get in the locker? Alright, bet. Let's go. Oh, something, something's gonna show up. Hi! I knew it! How you doing? <laughs> Lights are off. Uh, I don't want to get out. Good thing it's not letting me. Huh? I can't move. Uh, oh, hi. You don't, you, you don't see anything. I'm not in here. Why would you teleport me behind like that? All right, cool. Oh, that I ah, jeez, I that feels so uncomfortable. Well, stop turning me around. I don't like it. Is it like an elevator? Oh, there's even more blood. I think my vision's even more distorted now. Okay. Oh, thank God the room's back to normal. Thanks, Jesus. Okay. No alcohol, there's no guns. It's a perfectly normal living room. Everything is perfectly... Are you behind me? Oh gosh. The little incident. Once returning from the hospital, she couldn't bear to look upon their faces. All she could see was her husband in their eyes. Oh, stop doing that. Stop it. Why are the lights red? I I was genuinely thinking about having my LED lights as red for this. Who is there? Come here, brother. Who's behind me? Who's in the door? I can't open the door. I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna have fun. I'm gonna fuck you. See you later. Um, as I, I was genuinely thinking about having my lights as red for this video. I'm kinda happy I didn't. I'll go back. I'm gonna go back to the safe living room and I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna play some video games, even though I'm playing video games right now. It's gonna be good. We're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be fun. Nothing wrong with it. There's nothing this. It's okay, fine. There's nothing this lady can do. There's nothing she can do. It's gonna be fine. I... Um... What do I do? <laughs> Why am I making this noise accent? I don't know... I can't go through the door... The radio isn't speaking anymore... Is she gonna slam the door on me? Open the door! 
the hell? It's upside down, though. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that, that it's upside down. This Why is this light off, though, right here? Hello, radio. Do you want to... Oh. Do you want to tell me what to do? Because... I don't know what to do. <laughs> Man, my phone just buzzed. I'm scared. Uh, uh, she said she couldn't bear to look at their faces anymore. Does that mean I have to look at a painting through the door of the kids? Is that what that means? Man, this is this is a good game. This really Oh man. Okay. F fucking Am I these same emotions would linger once the new member of the family arrived. Something had to change. Am I stepping on blood? And why is this upside down? You know, I was just saying earlier how it's kind of cool. The hallway's longer. Maybe it's not. This is a dead end. Why am I- Hi! What's up? How you doing? Uh-uh. Fuck off. Nope. I don't- It's a good thing I don't want children because- No. I don't like this room. Poor child. Sorry, but, um... I'm sorry, but, you know, baby, I don't... I'm not too fond of babies. Oh, it's locked. What do you want? Oh, I have to look at them. Okay. Can I change the channel? Excuse me, what? <laughs> Who's there? Oh, there's even more radios. You know what? I th th that's That's one thing I you know, I always told myself I needed more of. Was radios. And it's louder. Is the lady gonna be there? Is she in the middle of the room? Is she gonna... Is she gonna beat me to death? Is she gonna strangle me? I don't know what's happening, but I don't like it. And it's getting louder, and it's harder to hear myself, and there's more radios. What does the game want me to do? Is there gonna be I, I you know is there gonna be a dead baby? It's It's this one, isn't it? Oh, it's getting louder. They're closing in on me. It's attack of the radios. Who knew this game's arch enemy was going to be radios? Or who knew that this game was going to be all about radios? Oh. Uh, All of the voices bottled inside of her were finally unleashed. Honey, what did I tell you no about going to Radio Shack? No more suffering. No more family. No more family. These children, including the one inside of her, will become just like him. And she feared for her life. Oh. They deserve a better existence. They deserve a fresh start. Yeah. None of this is their fault. 
Honey, what did I tell you about going to Radio Shack and buying more radios? I'm not really trying to make a pun. I don't know if Radio Shack actually sells radios, but you know, it is, is, is an idea. Oh! You know, this looks kind of nice. She finally made up her mind. Her plan for freedom. Freedom. So the coffin, is that what you're telling me? Do I have to look at the co Oh, I do. Is she in there? Peekaboo! Oh, there's nothing. Oh, she's gonna put me in there. Oh, I knew it. Oh, no. Excuse me? Oh, every time I click, it does that. Oh, I fell. Huh? Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I, t t I don't know what's happening right now. You don't need this many coffins. You know the funniest part of it all is? It didn't work. You and your fucking magic and stuff. You don't need this many coffins for three people. Oh, hi, you're in there. Oh, hi, you're gone. Okay. Cool. Good to see ya. How you doing? Nice to meet ya. I'm Oxys. What's up? Are you in here? You're not in here. Cool. This is my safe space. Let me have my... Let me be safe. Oh, the TV's back on. We can watch more TV? Such a happy family. Okay. It's quite strange how almost everyone looks normal from an outside perspective until you pull back the curtain and find a story such as this. It breaks my heart to report these things to the public day in and day out, but it's the reality of our current culture. People eat it up. They love wallowing in the misfortune of others. The mother in tonight's headlining tragedy is another victim for these leeches to feed on, further fueling the growing decay of society. I often struggle with myself, finding that I am a large portion of the problem at hand. Uh huh? Just like her, I am a goddamn parasite that has infected your mind. No matter where you go or what you do, you can never get rid of us. Oh, that was weird. Whoever did the voice acting for this... Dude. It's quite ironic. Good job. When you think about it all, really. The very place that festered her emotions is what currently shackles you now. What? This game is so sick. Oh, what the hell is this? Her mind had been warped, damaged by those she loved most. Once she had time alone to think and heal, the absolute darkness inside of her grew exponentially. Oh, so are we back to the whole... Oh. That... That doesn't seem right. Oh, alcohol! And a gun. Is that another reference to the dad? Dad! There's two beds. Oh, they must be doing something. Uh, I guess go through here. No. I can't go Her through. Her mind had been warped, damaged by those she loved most. Once she had time alone to think and heal, the absolute darkness inside of her grew exponentially. Can't open the door. Just had time alone, I'm guessing. What the f fuck, dude? Was it really necessary to throw the mattress at me? You in here? Why the door open? Who? Mm, okay. All right. I don't. I don't like what you're doing here. Also, what's up with this glass? It looks really weird. I I tried going in there. Do you want me to go in the room? I. I'm trying. Okay. She was found dead in the hallway, floating in a pool of blood once the paramedics arrived. The unborn child, still within her, 
was instantly killed when the bullet entered her stomach. Strangely enough, she was found with scratch marks on both of her arms as well as severe cuts on her right hand. The father dropped his children off at home before packing his bags for another impromptu hunting trip, abandoning the family for yet another weekend. Okay, father. Gun, alcohol, father, um... I don't... I don't know what you want me to do. This bed is still here, so I can look in that room. I swear, she's gonna be standing... The father dropped his children off at home before packing his bags for another impromptu hunting trip, abandoning the family for yet another weekend. Yeah, yeah, hunt, hunting trip. Father, bedroom. I'm staring at it right now. I'm, uh, what do you want me to do? Um. Hmm. Okay. Can I go through here yet? No. Okay. Um. The father dropped his children off at home before packing his bags for another impromptu hunting trip, abandoning the family for yet another weekend. Uh huh. Yeah, I heard you. Um. It's not working. I'm looking... It's really, why do you do that? Alright, what's in here? Why did this door open? Oh. He was found lying in the living room, dead with his head split open from the bottom, rifle still in hand. Pieces of a shattered vase were scattered around him with his left cheek adorned with a massive wound. The two children laid in their beds, unsure of what to do, as the mother beckoned for the daughter's help with something in the living room. The two children. Okay, like, what is it with you and slamming beds against the door? Why? Like, what's the point of that? I don't, un I don't, I don't know, understand, man. I swear, she's gonna be in that fucking hallway. Why'd you open this door? Uh, the daughter oh. was found dead in the bathroom, head smashed against the tub. The son, on the other okay. hand, would fall victim to a fate much worse than death. Oh, much worse than death. Finally, free. Okay, I can get out of here. It's about time. Act 3. I don't know how long this game goes on for, but if it saves again, I might quit and then continue. Maybe... Walking into the darkness when she's gonna be right in my face. No? Maybe? I. Uh. I can't. I'm walking around. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Well. Where do I go from here? There's no talking on the radio. There's no... I don't see no lady. That's... That's a good... I'm going the other direction now, which is really this weird. Again. I think it's about time to change the channel. Change the channel. What? Well, I'm outside. There's nothing scary about being outside. This is I. This is fine. It's just a nice stormy night walk through the cemetery. I don't know. I keep looking behind me because I'm just waiting for her to show up there. I think you know what needs to be done. Let go. Let go. Alright. Oh, do I get to get... Am I going to be buried? Well. 
Did they, wait, did I just get... And a back. And there's no door behind me. I hear something. The son went to investigate the commotion in the living room. Uh-oh. But he couldn't get there in time. Couldn't get there in time. Uh-oh. Could you... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, don't do that to me. And just, oh, here. Oh, gosh. Oh. So the sun's still alive? Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh? Wow. There it is. F. M. <laughs> Created by Jordan Cutler. Everybody go to Steam. Support this guy. Check him out. Radio announcer Seth Hoover. Shout outs to Seth Hoover. That or Hover Hoover. That guy is amazing in his voice acting. This game was incredible. I loved it. Female model animations. Okay, cool. The, the female model looked pretty cool. Static voices, fire video. Okay, so they got a lot of their stuff from websites, which is pretty normal. Assets. Oh, okay. There's a lot of them. Sound effects. Wow. Special thanks to Daniel Juggin, Matthew McKennell, and Christopher Fortenberry. McNeil was that name. This game contains up, and we're back to the beginning. Wow. <laughs> that was incredible. That game was... Weirdly enough, not as scary as I was expecting. Like, I know I jumped at a lot of those things, but I don't usually jump like that. I kind of did that for comedic effect. I didn't know, even know if I was going to finish this in one episode. I mean, we're up to an hour now. Um, continue... I'll go check out continue, uh, and if I can continue again, and I'll see if there's more to the game. If there is not, then I won't make another video, but I hope you all enjoyed this game. This was, this was genuinely terrifying. I mean, it was good. It was really good. It wasn't as scary. I've played some pretty scary horror games uh, that might be on this channel in the future. So we're getting started with horror games. I'm excited. October's coming up, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, share, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you gamers in the next video. Bye-bye.